In this video I will show how to find the arc length of a polar curve and we are going to use the formula um, for finding the arc length which is an integral from alpha to beta of um, derivative of r squared plus r squared d theta. Now to use this formula, we're going to plug in the given r into the formula, and we also need to find the derivative of r, which is negative 3 cosine theta. So what we're plugging in into the formula is the square. So let's go ahead and square both expression. So if r is that, r squared will be 9 minus 18 sine theta plus 9 sine squared theta. And the derivative of r squared is just 9 cosine squared theta. And to make it easy, let's just uh, evaluate the sum of the squares first before we plug it in. So the sum of the squares will be 9 cosine squared theta plus 9 minus 18 sine theta plus 9 sine squared theta. 9 cosine squared theta plus 9 sine squared theta can be combined by the Pythagorean identity. So the result is 9 and we also have another 9 so we have 18 minus 18 sine theta. Um, we can factor out 18 and what's left is 1 minus sine theta. So when I plug it into the given formula we're going to end up with the square root of 1 minus sine theta uh, and if we can't simplify that then we won't be able to integrate this function. So I'm going to do the following procedure which is uh, pretty standard in trigonometry. So I'm going to rewrite, instead of 1, I'm going to write it as cosine squared of theta over 2 plus sine squared of theta over 2. So that's this replaces 1 and I still have sine of theta. Instead of sine of theta, I'm going to write 2 times sine of theta over 2 times cosine of theta over 2. And you can check uh, that this is actually one of the trigonometric identities. And why did I use it? And because now we have a perfect square. So we have cosine theta over 2 minus sine of theta over 2 squared. Next I'm going to do another standard uh, procedure in trigonometry. I'm going to um, I'm going to bring a 1 over square root of 2 inside of this expression. So I'm going to take this, rewrite 18 as 36 times 1 half, and I'm going to bring 1 half inside of the radical. So it makes it square root of 2 over 2 cosine of theta over 2 minus square root of 2 of 2 sine theta over 2 squared. And next, the reason I brought that in is because square root of 2 over 2 is actually cosine of power over 4. And it's also sine of power over 4, so I can rewrite my expression like this. And then next, using the formula for the cosine of the sum, 
I can rewrite it like this. It's actually cosine of pi over 4 plus theta over 2 squared. So after simplifying everything, this is this is what we have. Now all is left is I need to plug in this inside of the radical into the formula and we also have to figure out the limits of integration alpha and beta. To figure out the limits of integration I'm going to sketch a graph of this cardioid and hopefully we can use the graph to figure out what the limits are. Um, so the graph will be at 0 we have 3 at pi over 2 we have 0, at pi we have again 3, and at 3 pi over 2 we have 6. So the cardioid looks like this. So we're going to integrate from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. Let's go from here to here. And that will give us the arc length of on this side. So to find the full arc length we will just multiply it by 2 at the end. So the integral for the arc length that I'm going to set up is from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2 and it's going to be a square root of 36 cosine squared of pi over 4 plus theta over 2 d theta and because we have a perfect square we can easily take the square root of 36 it is 6 but square root of cosine squared will be at an absolute value of cosine of pi over 4 plus theta over 2 d theta And now it's not that hard to verify that on the interval from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2, theta over 2 will be from negative pi over 4 to pi over 4. So adding pi over 4 to it will give us a range of values from 0 to uh, pi over 2. And cosine on the interval from 0 to pi over 2 is positive. So we can get rid of the absolute value. is our integral. So integral of 6 cosine is 6 sine of pi over 4 plus theta over 2 and we're going to divide by 1 half because it's the coefficient of theta. So dividing by 1 half is same as multiplying by 2. And we're going to evaluate this integral from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2, so the answer is finally 12 sine of uh, pi over 4 plus pi over 4 is pi over 2 minus sine of pi over 4 minus pi over 4 is 0. So sine of pi over 2 is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, so the arc length of uh, the right half of the cardioid is 12. So to find the entire arc length uh, we're going to multiply 12 by 2. So the answer is 24.